Hi everyone, thank you all ever so much for tuning in. We are doing a Trinity spread. Um, we're going to lay three cards of each in a row by one to row, one oracle and one channeled message card starting with the channeled message cards. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you do stumble upon this reading, it hopefully should resonate with you. Don't forget to like, follow and share this as well if you find resonance in this let other people see it push the algorithm um this is a again love reading so we are focusing on love but given other messages do come up we'll look into those as well for you cancer <sighs> let's see what's coming up what's the channeled message for cancer let's start with whether you're in contact with your person whether you're not in contact with your person let's see what's coming up right now what do you need to know about your situation uh, in general so what's the channel message for cancer right now please and we start with two so it says addictions clouded my vision i'm trying to get my life together so you may have been dealing and also i was hiding my true feelings from you because i was scared of commitment and i don't want to lose my freedom you are definitely dealing with somebody who um wasn't probably emotionally available to cancer. I mean, was dealing or are still dealing with somebody who potentially was um, emotionally unavailable to, and that emotional unavailability potentially was stemming from the fact that they had addictions, hidden addictions. Is this person has overcome it? Are they trying to get their life together, as it says, or do they come and do they go by this? I mean, do they try to get their life together and then relapse, revert by addictions? It doesn't have to be hard, illicit substance addiction, which this these are very difficult things to overcome anyway, but could be addiction to gambling, could be addiction to overjealous, controlling, narcissistic behavior. It could be speaking to an ex, you know, whatever it may be, something in excess that this person is aware they're doing. But then at the same time, they're very good at repressing or suppressing their feelings, and they may have a um, they may have a dict. What was I going to say? <laughs> they, they may have a dismissive, avoidant attachment style here as well. So let's put those there, and we sort of go one by one. I'm going to do this here. So let's get one tarot, and then we get one oracle. Make it into three. Make the trinity. Um, message sort of thing so what else does cancer need to know right now about this situation start with a page of pentacles this is um just to supplement those oracle messages i feel like this is talking about, about the fact that this person can sometimes be too focused over earning money uh because i have the eight of pentacles here um as well but by this i mean the page of pentacles i feel like it's either this person is somebody who relies on you financially it could be you rely on them financially and you have to put up with their bullshit or the page of pentacles is talking about the fact that this person is very immature when it comes to their finances you might be dealing with a student or you may be a student as well why i mentioned this is that because of this that that's why the immaturity may be stemming you have secret accounts here as well so uh this individual could be um maybe you found out maybe you're aware of this have secret accounts maybe you have secret accounts to check up on them so when they do ghost you you know you do check on them uh see what they're up to as to what is the reason for them ghosting you um you've got spell love well uh, i don't know if there is some involvement in someone doing a spell when it comes to your love life maybe you've done a spell maybe you're dealing with someone you you know you purchased uh, a spell from somebody by this i mean you know when you have these people uh that message you and say that they can bring your loved one back or um you know you might in some cases there may be no, no communication Therefore, you thought it might be a good idea to go and see someone who can cast a spell to bring this person back. But what you need to realize is when we get these spells, hexes, curses involved to be bring the loved one back, we're overruling their free will. Although I don't really believe in it, but it, maybe it happens. But what I feel is not right is that we're overruling the free will where maybe we're not supposed to be with that person at the end of the day and then life becomes very miserable because later down the line you realize they're not for you and now maybe you can't get rid of them so it's a tricky one but there could be secrets of secret accounts involved there could be an idea of making a secret account as well whether you're thinking about this or they're thinking about this or if you have been suspecting them being, being they may have been checking up on you through a secret account this is very likely Let's see what else. Let me just 
them in that way because they're not coming out. What's the next channeled message from your person is, I'm not happy in my current situation. I am miserable without you. Whether you are in separation or whether it's wishy-washy or whether this person is even around, um, I feel like the way that they are treating you and on top of it treating themselves is making them feel miserable. Um, they know that they're not doing the right thing or they know that something is certainly lacking in the situation. Uh, let's see. And they, I feel like they're just overall is somebody who's a Debbie Downer. Um, by this, I mean they're, they're just never happy about things. Um, maybe they just uh, project their thoughts on you, project their moods on you, and then make you miserable or drag you down into that misery as well. You've got the Three of Pentacles. Uh, this could be uh, talking about with the Page of Pentacles, because we sort of, if we look into this across... Uh, there may be an involvement of a tragic party but i'm saying this is because you've got the lovers here as well might be a gemini involved in this picture you might be dealing with a gemini as well of course as in they may be a gemini but mostly with the lovers we too also observe three figures here so i do feel like there is some temptation taking place i feel like this person is keeping their options open that's the problem uh cancer this person is keeping the options open and they're acting like a teenager they're, they're they're acting like you know they're very youthful and they're not ready for commitment although you may be already married maybe this is how you felt about this person you may have been married with them for 50 years and they still feel like they don't want the commitment or they want their freedom so it's just this wishy-washy energy again cancer and look my way selfish stubborn arrogant pride and ego see this person wants it their way or the highway and it's just getting very tedious and very boring um because you know you're not the one to be told what to do cancer although you love and you love dearly but you're not the one to be told what to do or be told how to love or how your love life should go so ignore that message we're not looking into that let's get another channeled message um you're dealing with someone very egoistic, or you're dealing with someone who could have avoid dismissive avoidant attachment stuff. You're dealing with someone who gives you no love. You're dealing with somebody maybe where they come and go, they breadcrumb you, they give you hot and cold love. They come in one day, they're all uh, lovey-dovey, the next day they're not talking to you, they're blocking you. Then you have to create secret accounts to check up on them. It's just... Uh, it's, uh, it's not, it's not very straightforward for you when it comes to your love life. Not for everyone watching this. Remember, it's not really going to resonate with everybody. But whoever is watching this, um, I'm a, I'm planning a romantic date or weekend Netflix and chill like old times. I want to cook for you. No strings. <laughs> Some of you, see with that no way card especially, some of you are dealing with somebody who wants to dictate the pace of this relationship. So by this, I mean, it's uh, one day they want to marry you. The next day they're like, oh, I don't want any strings attached because I just want to run around and act like a teenager or a ch child. Even This is not even a teenager. This is a child. It's up to them when they dictate the events. It's up to them when they want a Netflix and show with you. It's not up to you. Whenever you suggest it, whenever you have a proposition to do something, uh, this person doesn't really care for your plans. They care about their own plans. This, per this is someone who's very self-centered. Centered. <clears throat> and now we have uh, the Hierophant, the Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. There could be, again, as I say, if you're a female concern and watching this, there could be involvement of an, or a Libran or um, Libran female. It could be Aquarius or a Gemini. Again, we had Gemini before. Uh, this is Taurus energy, but I feel like you may be um, the juggling act of this individual may be coming out by the end of May. Although this is a timeless reading, we're looking into Taurus season applicably. So <sighs> I feel like there is an engagement it's either you're the person not engagement a marriage even or willingness to marry because the hierophant represents holy matrimony right um there is willingness to do the right thing or there is uh, a ma marriage in the picture already there is some type of contractual inclinement here um but it's either you're becoming very bored and detached from this and you're just not sure you're you're juggling in the moods yourself you might have air within your primary natal chart let's say you're concerned in sun libra moon libra ascendant um but mostly it's like you're you with this person you are constantly juggling your archetypal natures one day you feel very detached and very harsh and very what's the word i'm looking for 
abrupt with this person and one day you feel very lovey-dovey and very embraceive of the emotions and it's just a juggling act there is no stability here um this connection i'm not gonna lie has made you grow and multiply um spiritually it made you it made you spiritually more aware and more ascended but then at what cost right um some type of synchronicity with butterflies um for you uh, number five or two as well and we keep on seeing fives or twos so at the same time as i said it's either uh, you are engaged and there's another party involved or you know of involvement of another party or you suspect or you know that this person is engaged and you are the other party and if that's the case then and if you feel like they are going to leave the person they're with uh rest assured it's just going to keep on going in circles don't go for a person who is already involved with someone that's all i can say because bad karma uh, will certainly follow i mean things happen and people um f i mean things happen but what i'm saying don't willingly and participate in these um situations where you should have more self-respect and set a boundary to say well if you want to be with me i'm not give you any of my time my body or, or my patience until you know you do the right thing and if you want to be with me you leave that person and do the right thing but are they going to do the right thing judging by the way they're moving in this um energy here is they fucked up over you is it you're fucked up over them or they fucked up over you they know they fucked up but they are very confused you are dealing with a person who's just generally very confused in life they may have gone undergone some type of childhood trauma they may have undergone trauma with exes they may have i don't know whatever it was but there is some trauma happening here because this is just a, a, not a healthy approach towards love life and the reason they are approaching love life from from this retrospect is because something is deep within them that's preventing them from doing the right thing it doesn't have to be that they're just a bad person you know we're not saying they're a bad person but they need healing they need understanding of themselves acknowledging the issues and healing like we all do it was easier to lie than to tell you the truth i wish i could take it all back okay so yeah this person we know that has not been necessarily very honest with you if you have been suspecting something or are thinking that something's still going on and you didn't get to the bottom of the issue again you are possibly right about this whoa right got the wheel of fortune and the ten of pentacles this person does with the, those two cards i've just seen this person does have the intention to do the right thing or to stay with you they do see long decades long commitment with you we have the world so they as i said as i mentioned with that wheel of fortune and the ten of pentacles this person certainly does see a new beginning they do see you as the one cancer they do see you as the if you're a female watching this you know they see you as wifey material if you're a man watches they see you as husband material um i'm not gonna pay no mind to turn ten of swords underneath that however this could be also talking about the fact that they also are on edge not sure whether this is gonna work out or they feel like they will disappoint you one day because of their player ways because of them wanting to take action and be charismatic and attract attention all the time so fake busy and sex addiction i do feel like this person could have nymphomania tendencies or sometimes it feels like if it doesn't have to be an infomaniac outright but this person could be using um using sex to lure you in using sex to patch things up uh they use you for sex maybe even if you're not getting on they'll just come in and be like uh, expects of you when you just don't even feel like it, and then uh, make you feel bad and guilty uh if you're not giving it to them fake busy can be talking about the fact that this person picks and chooses their routine as well they lie to you about um when they're busy and when they're not they blame it on work or they blame it on whatever else that they're doing right so beware that their schedule doesn't necessarily align with what they're telling you as well i'm learning how to love myself now thanks to you so you have triggered some type of spiritual awakening in this person also you have triggered some type of knowingness that they need to strive to be better and love themselves because maybe they didn't have people that love them around them. 
And that's why why you're suffering because they're projecting that onto you. See, we've got the Three of Swords and we've got the Death. This person certainly has been through a lot of turmoil and not a lot of pain. And I feel like uh, simultaneously together, when you got together with this person or dealing with this person, both of you have gone through a lot of pain and sorrow, grief and disappointment, loss. Maybe whilst you were together, there was major loss in the family as well. Doesn't have to be. Uh, the devil energy, I feel like this is talking about the fact could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Scorpio as well here, but mostly... Uh, due to their own inner demons, this person makes it difficult to be loved and for you to feel loved as well. Queen B, secure, confident, boss bitch, career focus. Leading, proceeding from this, I feel like both of you have learned how to love yourselves more. Because this is not only have they learned how to love themselves, you also learn how to love yourself more. As we mentioned, you had that. Uh, with that hierophant energy that came in earlier, we had that understanding that you have spiritually ascended due to the pain and the hurt. Um, truth is, I'm in love with you, you know. So they do definitely acknowledge the fact that they are in love with you. They know this. They do love you. Doesn't matter what they do, who they do it with, or who do they try to get involved. They do love you, um, Cancer. You need to just uh, bask in this energy a bit more. Queen B, secure, confident, boss bitch, career focus. Focus on your career more. Remember, people come and go. But your career uh, remains the same. Your achievements will remain there for you forever. But mostly, uh, you'll be there until the end. Whoever's there with you, um, we're not guaranteed. But only you are guaranteed to be there for you in the end. Love yourself as you would love your soulmate. And then we have the King of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. I feel like this person knows that in a nutshell, they are just not a good person to commit to. They know this themselves. They know that, they, you know, they, they want to protect themselves as somebody very loyal, patient and family oriented. Uh, but the issue is they know deep down that they just are a disappointment to you and to themselves. Ghosted, off on, hot, cold and detached. This, this energy is going to continue on. There's going to be no imminent change of them in the near future of them maybe acting better or loving you more or showing you more love. It's, it's just not going to happen at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to be honest with you. So at what point do you just sit yourself down and say to yourself, uh, do I not deserve more? Do I not deserve to have the ground I walk on be kissed? Because that's the bare minimum that you should be with someone who truly embraces and appreciates you and loves you as you are without conditions let's get some outcome cards <sighs> got a page of uh, cups Sen sensitive open-hearted inexperienced moody messages regarding relationships new emotional experiences a romantic encounter social invitations or events heighten psychic abilities you need to trust your intuition more counter you are a very intuitive sign by default but mostly i feel like this is also talking about the fact that there could be other options around you as well there could be some new experience in romance i feel like this is new energy this is not this uh wishy-washy dribble drabble type of energy for you here so let's have a look if you are also what came up to me because um I've been um, five months sober and I was really tempted because I work in a, a live music venue, I manage a live music venue on top of uh, doing tarot readings. Uh, it's a family business, really. Um, it, a bar, <laughs> working in a bar is a very tempting place to party and drink and all the rest. And I've been five months sober because I just want to completely eradicate um, alcohol and the rest out of my life to help you with better psychic ability in me as well which helps if you're on your spiritual journey alcohol by no means helps you to embrace the spiritual journey as you're aware because the demonic energies do possess people i do believe that that get drunk alcohol is a, a flesh eating demon in um arabic we have known now from go go way back my point is is that um it's a Sunday morning and I booked an appointment um, to get, this is off, off a nutshell, to get a lip filler done. And I wanted to get my lips done for a very long time. They're not small, but I just wanted more natural look. And um, 
I could never afford to do these things if I carried on drinking and partying because I always used to spend all my money on drinking. Like, as in, I would spend the money on what I need to spend the money and my family and stuff like that. But, you know, if you have excess income, I wouldn't have that because I was spending partying this and I could have never afforded, you know, £300 to go and get, get this done and have some left. So the point here is where I'm going to is nice to wake up on a Sunday morning and not be hungover and then recovering for the rest of the week just to do it all over again. Um, if you feel like this connection is making you go into active addictions or make you drink or make you cope, you need to snap out of this. Uh, because that page of cups as well it could be sometimes just needs to numb things down you're better than this cancer not to say that you can't enjoy drinking maybe you're the type of person who can i have addictive personality so if i have one i can't have one and a lot of people around me i know are just the same and i can see people are ruining their lives continuing partying and then regretting and ruining their routine and not being able to do things for themselves because i know that this person has addictions cancer if they're dragging you into some active addictions or dragging you down and trying to control you through it, you need to snap out of it. If you're the type of person like myself, trust me, coming from the other side and being sober now, there's nothing better to wake up on a Sunday morning and not be hungover or feeling like shit or still carrying on drinking. Snap out of it, you're better than this. And your psychic abilities will come back. I feel like some of you have lost your way. I'm only telling you the story because it's relatable to you. I don't like sharing personal things because it's all about you and the reading. Other tarot readers love to talk about their experiences and their, but it is relevant to your situation. So please, it will change your life so much. Five months has changed my life so much that I'm, I've never been this happy. With every single thing around me. But mostly that sense of confidence and accomplishment. Because you said no finally. You didn't succumb to temptation. And even when things are hard. Because my grandmother just passed on. And she was the closest person I had. You know I don't feel the need to go. And I, I thought about it. But you just knock off the triggers. And the devil's temptation. Because the devil wants you to do that. And, and destroy yourself. Because he feeds on that energy. Whatever you're going through as well, don't feel like, oh, you need to forget and you need to find a coping mechanism. You can cope naturally. And it's a healthier way to cope. You should see the world through the HD picture. <sighs> Page of Wands. Enthusiastic, optimistic, creative, impatient. News of exciting opportunities, allowing your creativity to soar, do things that fuel your passion, finish what you start. <laughs> Finish what you start, Cancer. I feel like this is talking about the fact that stick to one thing and finish it. I feel like you have a lot, great deal of creative ideas, maybe new business ideas, but you haven't been really putting that into yourself. Protect what you have created. Be prepared. Never give up. Be prepared to tackle this situation. Ask your angels for help. Environmental activism and animal rights. Maybe this is something you want to go into. Animal rights because you are a very compassionate human being. And then we have the 10 of wands working too hard, too many hours. Just because you're working doesn't mean you're living. You, the need for balance in life. Let others help you. Health problems due to stress. So beware. Don't be stressed out. Maybe you're not healthy suffering now because you are stressed out at the moment as well. So watch after yourself. And let's get three more. Just the outcome for this uh, heart's hidden secret. You are worth more. Clinging. Holding on, obsessing, spying. I feel like even if you said no to the person you're with right now, they'll continue clinging on to you. They'll continue spying on you. They'll continue obsessing over you. This could be yourself. You need to get out of that Stockholm syndrome. You need to get out of that notion that you need to be with someone to be happy. Maybe some of you are afraid to separate, but you're hopeful, expecting faith and manifesting. Expect things to be better. You will manifest better things in life. Mostly you need to embark on this journey by yourself. Some type of notion with some flowers or some type of synchronistic sign with some flowers. And broken, shattered, heartbroken, destroyed. This is the only outcome for this connection at this moment in time. There, there is nothing else. 
it's dragging you down it's um making you bro feel broken and destroyed well what's the use i know you may be afraid to be alone or you're afraid to detach or you're afraid to be unable to support yourself or you're afraid to just move forward because you feel like you're gonna be lonely but you shouldn't need anybody but yourself because once again you are going to be there for yourself on your own nobody else is going to be there for you until the end apart from next to kin family yes that's a different matter but i'm talking about romantic partners is it guaranteed this person's going to be there on your deathbed let's look at it that way so why go through this turmoil and, and oppress yourself? We have returned. Second chance opportunity making amends. I feel like someone from your past, because I said there's other romantic opportunities. I feel like there could be someone from your past coming back as well. So, you know, it's not like you're going to be alone forever. You're a great person. You look great. You, you have great morals. So, you know, there there is seven, is it seven billion now within this population? So, I mean, being stuck on one person who's just dragging you down and um, creating active addictions in you when there are 7 billion people out there, it is just uh, obscene. Why do we put ourselves through these things, drag us down and that hurt us every day in our lives when there are 7 billion other people? I hope this was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe and enjoy this video for more. And I wish you all the best, Cancer. Until next time, goodbye.